Good morning internet, fellow South Africans. We are going on a trip. Don't know where, don't know where, don't know how far. We're just gonna go. Um, my wife, she works, so she can't come with, and the children are writing exams. So I'm on leave, decided just to take a trip. And let's just see how it goes. But for that, I wasn't in the mood to take along the caravan or the, the bush wagon with the rooftop tent and uh, tents and all those kind of things. So because I'm alone, I just decided let's build a bed into the fortune. Um, I'll show you later how that turned out. It's behind there somewhere. Yeah, so I packed a few things, a few essentials, uh, almost like survival gear. So it's just a little gas can and stove and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so let's do this. Bye. We are leaving Cape Town. Oh, there's another one. And you guys leaving Cape Town. You can see nice and green. Where we're going, I think it would not be so green. So yeah. Let's do this. Lovely, the toy school of pass going over the mountain, not through the tunnel. It's a scenic route, it's beautiful. Paddle, toll monument, that side. Table Mountain, very far away now, where I came from. All the nice greenery, fields, what a pretty, pretty area. The toy screw of tunnel. Aye. Aye. It's got a very nice echo.
Alright, so we're in the Siederberge um, on the way to Tankwakarua farm stall. Nice gravel road as you can see now. Um, the scenery has quite changed from luscious green to Karua bushes. But it's nice. Yeah, so now we're at Cut Bucky's Pass. See, there's a few bullet holes in there. Very nice. Welcome to South Africa. <laughs> yeah, I'll go over this bridge and then we go all along that. It's a bit of Toro to get up there. Up, 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 up. All the way over that small mountain and then it goes down again. Very lovely, eh? It would be a nice camping spot. But we will tend to one search for something where somewhere we can do wild camping. I'm not in the mood to go stay in a commercialized place, a touristy place. I want to be alone, I want to be rustig, I want to enjoy the views. So, wild camping it will be. Forgot my fishing rod, don't know if there's fishes here, but. I've got a week and a half, so don't actually care how long what takes. <laughs> Would be fun. Nice water, it must have rained here. There's a few dunes you can play in, but four by four wing, the sand riding. But I then I have to deflate the wheels, pump it up afterwards. Nah, and I'm alone, so don't want to get stuck there. <laughs> As you can see, it's not a highway. There's not a lot of people coming down here. Yeah, very, very nice. Alright, so we had cut back, cut Bucky's pass. Um, okay, so it was completed this thing in 1999, December. It was, uh, yeah, uh, Kaha Kama and Breer a few districts, right? They actually built this pass. It's uh, quite quite a large spot, so when we get to the opening, you'll actually see we're on top of the world. Just hold on a second. Right, almost there. So this is the plateau all over here. Um, can't see that. Just, just beyond that, it's just downwards, all the way down. But I'm sure we'll get another view. All right, in the Karua, peace and silence everywhere. Here's a few houses that was occupied very much moons back build out of stone as you can see there's a little bit of a crawl thing going on here I don't know if they kept the sheep or cattle or whatever inside here in the evenings because of all the predators around I suppose so but if you look at this brickwork it's absolutely amazing to think people actually went and collected a lot of rockies and then started building stuff well, I guess it's better than wood. It lasts longer. But I mean, look at this. Isn't this amazing architecture? No cement, nothing. Bit of clay in between, wet clay. Which is actually just sand and water, as you can see. Yeah, 
it's just sand. It seems there is a bit straw in there as well. The straw is like a binding agent. But yeah. Obviously this is the living room. There's the bedroom. There's the kitchen. No, there's the toilet. <laughs> But yeah, amazing, huh? Absolutely amazing. This must be the garage for the ox wagon or a separate entrance, granny flat. <laughs> yeah, you can see well. It wasn't bull for big people like me. I need to. Yeah, I think they also the reason why they built it here is because once upon a time, obviously, there was water here as well, running water. I'm sure if you start digging in here, it's there was a bit of water that came through here once, not very long back, but it's dry now again. It is summertime, or the start of the summertime, so yeah. Let's go have a beer and then we continue. Yeah, so there's my setup, there's my bed. Got a table chest, I still need to put that spotlight somewhere on board. Got my fridge here. It's not much in here, just a bit of butter and stuff. And meat underneath that thing. Going to a town again, so that's all good. Ooh, nice and cold beer, minus three degrees. Lovely. Cheers. I don't know what the UFO is. There is one in the ground that has flown by the tank where the road is standing. I see my mom so much as a tower. Very cool, very cool.
Welcome boys. Trommel Kyrios. That looks interesting. Close though. Okay, let's just see what's going on.
right, we had a rest stop in the Karua between nowhere and nowhere. So it's already half past 12. I'm hungry, been driving the whole morning, visiting graveyards, stuff like that, towns. So yeah, I'm on the N1. So I'm gonna make myself some nice Gurevos rolls and buns, onions, coffee and all those kind of things. Just cut up an onion and have a lekker lekker breakfast slash lunch. Check you later. How's it lekker lekker? It's good to make a little bit of a bit of onion and I'm going to put the boars in. And then we're gonna have lekker 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 boerenwurst rolls, aka sausage rolls, aka whatever. Sausage on a bun.
Jangan lah Sofaya Mati Thank you.